Hi, Patty. Aw, oh, good morning, sunshine. How's your weekend going? So Facebook is building me an audience, so we'll wait to see if we get some other Well, you do need to pull over for this, right? I'm going to have to sit up higher. My face is in the middle of the comments. There we go, I think. <sighs> okay. So today I really want to talk about, um, you know, my why. And also I'm going to do... Um, some eyeshadow look that for the Valentine's Day later. So, as I just put on my makeup, I'm going to talk about my why. Why did I join a direct network company, which I thought I would never do, right? And, well, the first why was uh, I wanted some extra money, right? Pay off some bills. And then have some more fun, enjoying my extra cash. But my why has definitely changed because, you know, my long-term goal was to have this company, this business, um, in 10 years to help supplement our retirement. And hopefully it'd be on autopilot and, you know, I won't have to worry about as much um, when we're retired. And then my why has changed to, oh my gosh, I love meeting up with people and sharing this product because, for one, it's a little selfish on my part, but I do love people. And, you know, sitting down and getting to just talk about what's going on in their lives and then just sharing this product that makes them feel so beautiful and confident. It's my favorite part of this business. And, you know, it's it's just brought life back into my soul. I mean, Facebook was great and I knew what all my friends were doing, but I really wasn't seeing them and talking with them. So this why of this company has changed because now I have a reason to call somebody up and say, hey, you want me to come over? I'll do a facial and we'll do some makeup. And I love it because I can't wait to see the people. I can't wait to talk to them. And I can't wait for them to see how this product builds so much confidence and makes them look amazing. So anyway, that's my why. And, um, because I get that question a lot, where I get the rolled eyes, like, why are you doing this, Maureen? Why are you selling something? So, what I found is this company is a lot different. They care, and, it, you know, we get a vacation month. So, if I'm doing something with my family, vacation, or on our own, I could take that whole month off and get paid the same commission I um, received the month before. So, of course, I'm probably going to take vacation in July. So, I'm going to work my butt off in June. So, I get an extra nice paycheck in June. <laughs> anyway, oh my gosh. Hi, Heather. Jeannie. Drew. Do you remember to put spray on your face? I think it is to set the makeup. Yes, and I did. I put on my, um, I've already put on all my Let's see. I've put on my One Drop Wonder, all my serums and um, moisturizers. And then, uh, Patty, you're right. I did my first base primer. And then, uh, before y'all got on, I did go through and uh, our foundations are by a company called RCMA. 
out of California and they are a wax based but they have about 51% pigmentation in them so I mean you just dab the sponge in there and then go over but I've already done it as you can tell I look you know don't I look stunning and shiny no I'm kidding anyway then I'm going into uh, Let's see, what do we want to do next? Oh, I'm going to do my whole face before we go into the um, eyeshadow look. And I'm going to go ahead and do a little bronzer. Hi, Marilyn, how's your hip? Are you up and moving around? Marilyn just had a uh, reconstruction sur surgery so glad you're up and watching okay I'm gonna put the bronzer on I'm gonna start up here in case I have too much uh, product on my brush and then go into here but we don't want to go past this eye okay don't go crazy on that bronzer and go all over we're just gonna Try and chisel out a, um, you know, a cheekbone for this round face. And then I like to go up here. Hi, Kenny Preston. Marilyn, you can make a comment. I want to know how you're doing. Under the jawline. Down the neck. Okay, and then I'm going to take, um, this is a blush, but we actually kind of use it more of a highlighter, and I'm just going to tap my brush in there. I don't want too much. The one thing about our project products are they're very pigmented, and you don't need a lot. So this is something that just kind of gives you a little highlight. For when this, you know, the natural light. So you could tell how, although I have quite the natural light coming in to the right of me, so we're going to mute this down. Okay, now my blush. Today we are going to do, there's a lot of our colors, but I think, hmm, which one? Which one should I pick? Maybe this one. I'm going to do blush number four. Again, you just tap it. You don't want too much. And then... Go in and blend up that bronzer you put in so you don't have a big line going across your face. Oh, did you like that color? Number four. I'll have to figure out what it is. I just have numbers. Again, just a little bit goes a long way. Marilyn, I'll be over, and we will do you up for the next time you're ready to go out into the public without a cane or your walker. Where's your first place going to be, you think? Okay, that's done. I'm going to go into my favorite new thing. To make me look quite a bit younger. I can find my brush. Hotel. There it is. The boat or dinner. Okay. 
Well, either one, and I want to go with you. If I'm going to do you up, I'm going with you. All right, so my eyebrows. I go into a one of our eyeshadows. Oh, yeah, let's go to Tucker's. I love that place. And, you know, take the little spoolie, go up. Make sure you don't have any wild hairs. And then I'm just going to press in. And just fill in the blanks because, you know, as we get older, Oh, Kaylee, how are you? Oh, my God, I miss you, too. I just see all your posts and how much you've grown and you're just a lady. You're like... <laughs> nice steak and potato. We'll do it. Kaylee. So, Kaylee, everyone, uh, when I moved to Texas back, back in the day, Kaylee and her... Kaylee was about eight, five... Eight, Patrick, my son was three, and Kaylee, his mom, Jill, and I became, oh, you're almost 30? Jeez, go, me, go. Uh, Kaylee's mother and I became fast friends. We were the single moms down there, and um, been forever in my heart when we both moved back home. All right, so, see, a little eyebrow, a little darker, makes you look younger, doesn't it? Come on, tell me. Please tell me. No. So, Kaylee, 30, how's that going to be? I liked my 30s. You're going to have a good time. Tell your mama hi and your brothers. I did not, we did not take you drinking with us, did we? Oh, that was dinner, Kaylee. That was dinner. Oh, Laura, I look 30. Thanks. Dirty. Oh, Madison, I, Maddie, I, I'm a lot better, and I think I could get um, some eyebrows on you. <laughs> I, we, we might just new, use a lighter, um, color since you have such blonde eyebrows I should come over and do like a Marilyn uh, Leonard you know get your dad some eyebrows your mom you uh, does Cody have eyebrows we'll make sure he has some too and of course Nana <laughs> so you guys can sit down to dinner and be like oh, we all have eyebrows today <laughs> Okay, um, I'm going to be right back because I want to get what color um, shadows we're supposed to do. Oh, yeah, Buffy, she has no eyebrows either. But I hope she's been doing them because she's like one of my first customers and um, she knows how to do it. She knows how to put them eyebrows on. All right, two seconds, I promise. I know, it's longer than two seconds. <laughs> okay, video fail. So talk amongst yourselves. I'm just going to find the darn things I'm trying to do. So I'm going to have to log into something else. Oh, Buffy's at the farm? Hmm. What's she doing out down there? 
Maddie, when can we get together with your roommate? <laughs> get it together, Mo. Well, it's okay. I mean, do I have to be perfect? I was really good at the beginning of the video. So, how about I'll just put any eyeshadow on that I choose instead of the one of the Valentine things to put together. Because I do know how to do it just on my own. All right, so let's try this. I'm going to go in with a, uh, it's called Pineapple of My Eye. Aw, that's sweet of them, Marilyn. I'm babysitting tonight for Matthew, Stephen and Mandy's baby. I have so many babies in my lives right now. It's just awesome. Yeah, Maddie, let's let's get together, have some fun, drink some wine, and slap on the makeup. Then you guys can go out. Do it a night that you're like planning to go out, and then I'll make sure you're all gussied up. And uh then you guys can go out and of course I'll just go home. Poor pitiful me. Not. <laughs> I'll act like I'm just going home, but I'm sure I'll find something to do. Okay, putting a little brownie points. I'm just gonna go halfway on the lid. You know what, Kaylee? I I probably, you know, need to make a trip to Lubbock, Texas. Lubbock. But how about you come to St. Louis for St. Patrick's Day or Mardi Gras? I think now that you're 30, almost 30, you could handle our St. Patrick's Day because your mother barely survived. Barely survived St. Patrick's Day in St. Louis. Okay, so I just did a little, this one's brownie points is the name of it. So it's just a darker brown. And then I'm going to go and blend that. Justin, oh, do you, so you're in Dallas or Fort Worth area? What are you doing there, Kaylee? Well, then the next time I'm there, if work takes me there or I want to take a trip down south, I will come see you. But really, grab some friends. I'll host you if you want to experience the craziest parties. Mardi Gras here down in Soulard is insane. Who's Shirley? I can't tell. Do you mean Kaylee or Shirley? Okay. Blend, blend, blend. And then I think... I think I want to put a little um, color in this. So this is... Um, we have a uh, makeup artist called Lottie, and if you want to check out her work, um, she's at at Lot Star, and um, anyway, she collaborated with Limelight, and she developed this beautiful palette, and another one that's crazy colors, but I love. I don't have it out. I'll show it next time. Anyway, those colors are insane. They're like bright green and blue and yellow and oh, it's awesome. I'm going to find it because I think Kaylee wants to see it.
Okay. Ta-da! So, you know for Mardi Gras, I'm going to be sporting all these colors. So I'll use one. I'm going to use this little orange one. It's kind of um, like a rust color, actually, or coral. And I'm just going to place it right here to give me a little lift of color. See what a difference? For all our men watching, we are coming out with a men's line um, for skincare. And of course, you know, if you're going to be on TV or you just want to look really, really, really smooth, foundation is for you. It's not just for women. Anyway, it feels like skin. It looks like skin. Nobody would know you had it on. All right. Liner. I think I'm, I don't know. Should I do a liquid liner or that eyeshadow liner? Anyone have a, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm doing something else. I'm not even going to do that. I'm going to take this beautiful little brush and go under. Liquid. Oh, Patty, you know how terrible I am at the liquid. But I will do some. But first, I just want to fill in here. You know, if you guys watch the replay, um, I do talk about why I joined this company. And, you know, how my why has changed. First it was for the money. Now it's for... You know, meeting up with people, talking, sharing our products because they truly are amazing. I love them. And this group of people that are in this company are just amazing. I have learned everything from them. They have, I mean, professional makeup artists doing all these tutorials for us. I mean, holy smokes. I've learned a lot. All right, so you want me to try the liquid? Okay, this could be good. Um, this is our liquid foundation, our eyeliner. It's kind of like a felt tip. It can go, I don't know, can you tell? Smudge proof once you get it on. So, if you get it on wrong, no, it'll come off, I promise. Okay, so I'm doing a very, 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 very thin, 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 thin. And you want to get it as close to your lash line as possible due to, you don't want any skin between this, the liner and your eyelashes, your eyelash line. Because the reason for your liner is to really make your mascara look fuller and better. And So. Laurie Bono. McGrath, you've got to try these products. You would love them. My stars, professional. Hi, Nancy. Can't wait to work the... Uh... Oh, I was thinking it was Nancy Haller. Jean and I, and I think Patty, is every Who's working the Cajun cook-off in Soulard next week? I know I am. Okay, for mascara, you want to kind of zhuzh it in the bottom of the eyelash line. Oh, thanks, Keely. Buffy me, Carla. Okay. Uh, we do have matte lipstick, and I will show you some. 
We have a ton of lipstick. And all different types. Oh, my mother's on. Hi, Mary. Now, don't make any mean comments about me. <laughs> Just tell them how wonderful of a daughter I am. Precious, precious. Don't tell any truths. <laughs> Okay, I know, I'm probably taking it a little long on my... Alright, that's it for the eyes. Lipstick, hmm. Let's see what I got. Let's see what I have. Kaylee. Oh my gosh, Mary, Kaylee Melton's aunt, Jill's daughter. Remember they came to the lake? <laughs> Jody! How was the concert last night? Alright, first off, what do we have? We have all kinds of stuff. But we have, um, we have lip glosses. And they come with a mirror. I mean, and a bejeweled, I mean, come on. When you put, when you pull this out wherever you're at, people are going to look. And then you can just look in the mirror and swipe it on. Ghoulay. I know. Sean had to deal with Grandma at the fried chicken place. It wasn't pretty. Anyway, so that's a gloss. We also have uh, long wearing which is only about four hours if you put it on and let it dry. And so, Kaylee, I don't know, this, this could be a mat as well. And then, of course, we have the lip liners. Very pretty. And then um, we do have lipsticks. And let's see. So the lipsticks can be your mats, and oh, we got some new ones. Here's some bright, bright ones. But look at this. Ooh, hoo, hoo. This one's called Black Cherry. Mm-hmm. Have a moisturizer lip gloss. Well, it is kind of moisturizing, but. I'm going to get my goth on, although I think this is in, yeah, on trend. Uh-oh. Julie Redden, please be nice. That girl will come up with some, oh my God, you made me mess up. All right, now what? Let's see. If I was organized, it'd be okay, but I'm not. Handy dandy. Makeup wipe. Okay, I'm not digging this color for me. I think I need a liner with it. You like it? Well, maybe going out. So, it's kind of funny, you know, I am going to meet up with a friend today. She's asked me <laughs> to do her makeup and for a black tie affair tonight. I know, Patty, I'll wear that color. I just think it's too um, bright outside to be sporting that. I <laughs> know, too early in the day? Mm-hmm. Or too early in my life 
to be sporting that. All right. So I'm going to put on. Mm, that's a pretty one. I don't want any pink. Anyway, I might just go with a gloss. I'm going to put a little piece on. Because I think we all need a little piece in our lives. I love that our lip glosses are like peace, love, faith, hope. Oh. Oh, and I think we're coming out with two new colors, and it's Wish, uh, Wish and something else. <laughs> oh, I'm the first thing you heard today? Uh-huh. That'll make it get up and go. Like, holy crap, that woman has... Is that neutral enough? I know, I did my eyes up. So if you do your eyes up a little bit more, you want to go with a, a neutral lip. <laughs> I don't hear you, Julie. Julia. I just see that you're watching, so I know you're making a comment. Because I don't think you cannot comment. Okay, that's it. Does anybody have any questions? If you would like for me to share our products with you, I will be more than happy to come by and just show you. And um, if anything, we could just visit. That's my favorite part. Just visiting with people. And just inbox me and let me know. Also, men that are watching, mm -hmm, I've seen a couple of you scroll by. If you are looking for a great Valentine's gift and you can't think of anything, um, I think I could find you something. Okay. <laughs> anyway, that is it. I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye. Love you.